Hello everybody, it's the Lit Optimist. I'm talking about Children of the Corn. Married couple Bert and Vicky are traveling to California to try and save their family marriage when they find themselves hitting the dead body of a child. Upon examination, the boy has had his throat slit. So Bert comes up with the idea to wrap his body in a sheet and put him in the, <laughs> in the truck. Like, fuck dude, what are you doing? They then arrive at a ghost town named Gatlin, Nebraska. No one's here, but they stop at the town church, seeing a recent date on the sign out front, and it's stark contrast from the rest of the town. When Bert enters the church, much, much to Vicky's dismay, he finds a ledger that lists sacrifices of some of the townspeople all killed on their 19th birthday. With the car horn sounded outside, Bert runs outside to find Vicky. With the car horn sounded outside, Bert runs outside. With the car horn... He runs outside to find Vicky surrounded by kids in Amish-looking clothes, brandishing weapons and attacking the car. Vicky's captured, Bert runs from the kids to find her, and eventually comes across her body, propped up, her eyes missing, and mouth filled with corn husks. A monstrous body being a monstrous being then erupts from the ground and kills him kills him too. It's revealed that this being is he who walks behind the rose, a deity a deity worshipped by the children. The short story ends with one of the children, Ruth, saying goodbye to her husband Malachi as he who walks behind the rose punishes the children by lowering the sacrificial age to eighteen. Malachi and her and the other eighteen year olds walk into the corn as Ruth wishes deep down to set fire to the cornfield. Uh, fantastic writing, but I fucking hate Bert um, and Vicky. They are so fucking annoying, and I had no hope for their shitty marriage. I couldn't wait for them to get off by these culty ass kids. Um, thanks, go to Natalie Titus for requesting the short story, and she laugh reacted it. I think because of that ending. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking annoying. They're so fucking annoying. Um, the film adaptation of this, uh, the first film anyway. Uh, deviates from that a little bit. I don't even know if they're married in the in the film. They are a couple though. And then the remake on sci-fi was a lot more like this, where they fought and argued a lot. And it's like, shut the fuck up. You annoying ass pieces of shit. Um, I can't believe it sparked a horror series. A horror film series. It's a, it's a great idea in theory, but man, in execution, yeesh. Um, I think I prefer, I think I prefer the short story just because based on Stephen King's writing, it's really good, even though they're fucking annoying. The film has very cheap effects and very, it's very dated. It's not as good as I remembered it, um, especially compared to other adaptations of Stephen King's works. I love the sci-fi version too. That was a really good one, actually. Um... Very good adaptation of this one. Very more close to this one. So. I think I've talked about this before. I don't remember if I have or not. But there's a character. In a lot of. Uh, in a lot of stories. Uh, called. The Dark Man. The Walking Dude. Randall Flagg. Walter O'Dim. Um. Tch. Martin Broadclough, there's so many names, so many names for this guy. He is an antagonist in so many stories. The Stand um, being one of the biggest ones. The Dark Tower being even huger, like even more fucking like, oh my god. He, there's a theory that he who walks uh, behind the rose um, is the walking dude, you know, you know, which I think is so fascinating, you know. Oh, you know, there's an argument. It can't be him because he has supernatural powers. He has supernatural powers in every fucking... What are you talking about? And it makes sense that he would make a cult of children fucking do his bidding. It's... It just... It's, it screams fucking Randall Flagg. I love the name the, the best, Randall Flagg. Walter is... He... You have to read The Dark Tower. Um, I said it before. I finished it. Um, it's great. Uh, I feel like this is everything is connected to the Dark Tower somehow in Stephen King's library. Every fucking thing has something to do with the Dark Tower. The Tower is everything. So just man, cannot wait to talk about that series. Um, as for this, pretty cool short story. Children are killing people. That's fucking lit, dude.
Um, this has been the Lit Optimist, and you guys have a good one. And yeah, watch out for killer children. <laughs>